crack a lack and literary geeks happy tuesday we're so far hello can you hear me surprise i got a new tattoo we finished the top part of my sleeve last week i'm loving it there are many 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 bookshelf tours on youtube and i realized that i haven't done one myself and some stuff's changed over the last little while so that'd be kind of fun to like go through and be like hey here's some cool knickknacks hey here's a book i really loved um and just kind of show off uh, the rest of it because you guys get to see a very narrow point of my face and my background um I'm in fact a tall person. See, I'm 5'8". It just, see, I got a good wingspan going. Uh, there's just very large shelves. So without further ado, let's move you guys in and we can start talking about stuff because I feel like this is gonna take a long time. Why don't we just start off with a shelf that's always behind me in most of the videos, right? So this is like my general fantasy shelf. We got some Sabata here, we got some steampunk Elise Kova dragons, and oh, what uh, is that? What is that beautiful, amazing looking fantasy, beautiful fantasy book? Could that be Witches of Ash and Rune by Werner and Aaron Latimer? I think it might be. And we have some fun knickknacks like this thing right here, which is just one of my embroidery hoops that I put some of my pins on. So we got some Sarah J. Mass, we got some Theoryborn, we got some um, Nerd Alert, and this beautiful hourglass that I got at a Seattle antique store for like 15 bucks. We have a rose because you know, I love my florals. And then we have one of my animal skulls. This was an deer skull that I got from my cousin. And she lives over here because uh, I feel like the raven boys and animal skulls go together quite nicely. So we have some more Maggie Steve and then there's some other general good fantasy novels in here. Uh, most of these are advanced copies, which is why they're all stacked on top of each other. My shelves are a bit of a mishmash. I know some people are very particular about keeping all hard covers together or having like all the series and paperback. Mine are just a mess. It's just wherever stuff fits, it's where it it goes. Should we go up or down? Let's go up. This isn't a very flattering angle, but we're gonna make it work. So up here I have some contemporary because that over there is a contemporary shop that leaks over onto here. So not only do we have some nice contemporaries, but we do have uh, one half of my Corvid uh, bookends, which I love that I got from one of my friends. So I'd say this is like the super good contemporaries that bleed into like some magic realism weirdness, which I love me some magic realism weirdness. And then we have like a whole shelf over here that's like basically just Neil Gaiman and then books about magic libraries, which I love that I have a whole shelf for that. We have this very cool spoon that is also a stick. That I may or may not have accidentally stolen from my old workplace, don't tell. And then this beautiful little fairy-esque butterfly wing that I got from yet another antique store. Got some of these guys which are um, a sort of like his star sign astrology cards that I got from yet another vintage shop here in Vancouver. Well, now we're gonna go down. Okay, Ugh, hopefully this doesn't... I didn't plan this very well. We're just gonna be moving my tripod all over the place today. Uh, this is a cross stitch I did of a naughty word with florals, which is one of my favorite things to cross stitch. I also have this very fun sign very apropos. So here we have all the V.E. Schwabs, because she is one of my ride or dies, right next to Samantha Shannon, who is also one of my ride or dies. Oh my god, the next book, The Mask Falling of the Bone Season series comes out very, very soon, and I'm so excited! And then we have some like Arabian Nights, Persian folklore, Arabic folklore inspired fantasy novels right here. This big boy, which is Prayer of the Orange Tree, also by Samantha Shannon. And then my, for some reason, ninth house. Uh, this is not thematically correct with the rest of this, but I think it was the only place I could find where it fit at the time, so it lives there now. I'm now going to move you guys to your left, right? Your other left? We have all my Lanny Taylors, except for Strange the Dreamer, because I lent it to a friend and they haven't given it back yet. And then we have an embroidery that I did, some flowers. We have the other half of the Raven Crow bookends. We have this very nice decorative box with a little moth on it that I got for my birthday. And the one and only Funko Pop that I have allowed myself to buy. I feel like these are also just general, general fantasy stuff. Like this one random one, which is Court of Riffs. Court of something or other. Goes with the Sarah J. Mosses, which are on this shelf, but I didn't have room for it, so it's going there. And then just, just general fantasies that were good and all tall, you know? Since we're already sort of here as well. Here's some more of my Sarah J. Mosses. We got all of them over here, including this one, which I hate, but can't find the receipt, so can't return. And I did another uh, embroidery of the Night Court. It's thematic. It's here. Got some cool character cards from Furyborn from a uh, Raincoast event I went to a couple years ago. When did Furyborn come out? What year is it? And a candle that smells like rye sand. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, it's been a long time since I opened that. <laughs> oh my god. I don't often buy bookish candles, but this one smells like a hot guy out of the shower, which I suppose he is for most of that book. Got some favorites over here. We got Nevernight. We got uh, Runa Kings. My Patrick Rothfuss's 
This is plural. Name of the Wind is one of my favorite fantasy novels, and I feel like I could play Kvothe now that I have short hair. Movie studios, where's my contract? I suppose we have to go up, so up we go. Here is my contemporary shelf. Oh, if you look up a little further, what's that orange thing? It's a dinosaur. So a lot of people know that I read less than or equal to a contemporary a year. Not my genre. So if I've kept a contemporary, that means that it's good. Of course, we got some Adam Silveras, we got some Rainbow Roll, a couple of Wattpad novels, that's real fun, and uh, yeah, some other just like, just OG. OG contemporaries up there that I'm loving. Accompanied by a tiny card of mugwort and some beautiful decorative dried flowers. Yes, from here we have to go down. Let me adjust my camera. So this shelf I have deemed the fairy shelf because all my fairy books go on here. Not my fairy tale ones, those go somewhere else. I know, it's, just, it's a very complicated system I have going on here. In this shelf I have some keys. Don't know where those came from. But I do have a voucher for one soul that my friend gave to me for Christmas. So we got like basically all Holly Black over here, plus the OG fairy book that really got me into fairy reading, which is uh, The Golden Book of Fairy by O.R. Melling. I remember checking this out almost every single day at my high school library, which is where I found it, like the second day of eighth grade. And I basically just lived at my house for like four years. <laughs> YA and regular fantasy stuff over here, going good. Uh, let's move down a shelf again. All right, so hear me out. This is a little bit more of just like general books that I just didn't have room for. So we got like some of my fairy books, very impressive. But we do in this corner, unfortunately, have some Scott Lynch and Sam Sykes, which I'm very mad at because I loved these books, but I found out both of them are sexual predators. And that's kind of an issue. So I don't really want to have those like advertised uh, in the background of all my videos. I know you can only separate the art from the artist for so long. Like, I, I don't know if I can do it for much longer. So these are banished here for now. We have it all of my very well-loved <laughs> paranormal books over here, including just a couple that I got at the thrift store, so a little bit more banged up. More fun things are some more character cards that I got from an event for uh, Stolen Songbird. Very underrated, highly recommend. Got another very dusty map of that, and some cool keys that I'm pretty sure I got from like a home sense or something but they look old and that's all that matters. And on this very bottom shelf, oh wow, we're gonna have to get, get really in here. We got some wonderful vampire romance novels, which I'm never getting rid of. And then we have a lot of OGs that I just didn't really know where to put. So we got, we got the uglies, we got some legend, the selection, my house edition of Harry Potter, got some strange angels in the corner. Mwah. Oh God. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna be so sore after filming this video. And as we transition from this side to this side, let's look at some art because I Put it up for a reason. So under my V.E. Schwab, we got some lovely art. Like this one I got from the Strand Bookstore in New York, along with this one. And these two um, are not commissioned, but they both look like me. <laughs> and I bought them from a local artist in Vancouver named Tuna Snaps. Then I also have my mask, my little orange mask, because I wanted something to make me feel happy whenever I put it on. Now we move over here. So up here, I call this like my sci-fi section. So these are like legit sci-fis. Ooh, look at that tattoo. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, uh, one of my new favorite sci-fis, Seven Doubles. We have the Diabolic, which like no one talks about, so good. We got some Red Queens that to me counts as sci-fi. Uh, and then we got Marissa Mayer and more Jay Kristoff and some uh, one of the favorite word nerd books. <laughs> Something exciting on those shelves are some candles. And then we have the Cassandra Clare shelf. She has so many and there's only more ever going to be coming out. So I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's only room for one more. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I have my fact and fiction bookends and my watch and then this little like jewelry case that holds some perfumes and some necklaces that I wear every single day. So I just kind of like toss them in here and I won't lose them. And then a lint roller because I wear a lot of black and have a cat. Multiple editions of The City of Bones, the first one, you know, as a reader does. Just in case you're ever wondering, my favorite perfume ever is Juliet Has a Gun. Hold on, what does this candle even smell like? Bottom chestnut and warm amber. Oh, forgot about that. That's nice. Okay, time to move down yet again. You're flying through this part of the shelf. What's up with that? All right, this shelf, uh, this is another general randomized fantasy shelf. So over here, we'll just carefully move this. Like we got some time travel and some witchiness and some fairy tale retellings as you do, as you normally group together. And then over here we have more books that I just don't have room for that somehow I managed to shove in here. So we got some tall ones and then we got some short ones and then we have some fun buttons like this one. Well, hello. Well, this Hit. There we go. We got a little truth witch button. 
And we got a little, <laughs> little raincoat button. And I have this very fun pedestal that I got at a thrift shop with, um, this is like wax and a wax stamp. So I can feel fancy when I'm sending my handwritten letters across the sea. And a Christmas ornament that is antlers because I have an obsession with uh, deer skulls and deer antlers, as you probably have figured out by now. Oh, I just finished reading Girl Serpent Thorn a little while ago. Good job, Melissa Bastardoust. I am impressed. God, I need to dust. Jesus, I did, obviously didn't clean for you before I started filming this. All right, we are officially on my floor yet again for this lovely shelf right here. I feel like there's more things blocking it. So first of all, I have this lovely little E.E. E. Cummings uh, obvious state notebook, which I have not written in because it's just too pretty to write in. And then this lovely bookend that I thrifted, uh, that this is just one of my quill pens that, that I just like have because I'm like such a quirky white protagonist. Okay, this shelf started off as like a classic shelf, but it just slowly morphed into I need space for these books so they're going here kind of shelf. Crepe Factor books, we got some like Angel Fall, Stars Never Rise, and then we have uh, some more like classics, I suppose. So not only do we have like some Margaret Atwood, and some Oscar Wilde and some Madeline Miller, but we also have some um, like Emma Rio and the Seven Hosts with Evelyn Hugo and just some, I don't know, these like adult books, you know? Then over here, we got the fancy ass stuff. So I have this beautiful edition of Grimm's Fairy Tales that is, oh God, you can see the dust flying everywhere. Illustrated that my friend got me for my birthday a couple years ago. And we got like this beautiful one with creepy weird fairy tale anthologies with beautiful gold foil on them, which like, that's a mood, that's my aesthetic. Okay, very, very severe tilt going on here, but to see this, this shelf right here, we have a very pretty decorative swan box that used to be my grandmother's. A vintage pentagram compact mirror that I honestly don't know where I got. Where did this come from? I don't know. So on this shelf right here, we have, a, yet again, a weird combination of things. So on this side, it's poetry which includes uh, Nikita Gill, love her. Then we got some uh, Lang Leave, which like hit or miss. And we have some Michael Foddit and some Amanda Lovelace, which like, they're doing okay. And then we have my very tiny portion over here of uh, middle grade, which includes, but is not limited to, uh, The Strange Daily Portraits of Barney Gray by E. Latimer, word nerd Aaron Latimer, and uh, what is that? Frost by Aaron Latimer. Good word nerd friend Aaron Latimer. Of course, we got the Rick Riordan, Percy Jackson, OG series. I think I got rid of my other ones a little while ago. Um, and then some like, you know, childhood favorites that were just, that I found in thrift stores. This one was the one I found most recently that I was so excited about because I completely forgot that I loved it so much until I saw it again on shelves. Okay, we need to, I need to get up. So what is the sun doing? It just got very dark in here. There you have it. There is a big bookshelf tour of what month is it? August 2020. Please leave down below if you saw some of your favorites or if you saw like a gap of mine. Oh my gosh, I just, I almost forgot. We're gonna just turn you right around here. Oh, surprise. There's a whole other shelf. All right, we're gonna just do a quick tour over here. This is my Lee Bardugo shelf because she was originally, oh, hello, ran out of room. So we made a new shelf. And with the, you know, very apropos, very nice de decor. Yes, these are wine bottles. I am, in fact, of legal age to drink, even though I look like I am 15. But come on, nefarious crow wine? Next to six of crows, it was meant to be. And over here we have some more pins that I got from a Raincoast event. And this beautiful antique bell. But I'm pretty sure summons fairies. I mean, it's probably not gonna stay like this for very long because I'm also in the middle of reading three books at once and... The fall lineup of books coming out is coming, so we're gonna have to, you know, deal with that. Um, maybe if I dust a little bit more, that will help my peace of mind or something, because I didn't realize how bad it was <laughs> until this video. I see, I was expecting this video to be like a fun, chill, like whatever, and it just turned very quickly into chaos. Even some uh, suggestions on how to better organize stuff, because I thought I was a genius when I started turning them sideways to stack them. But if any of you come at me saying, your problem is you have too many books, uh, you can leave. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. Join us at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube on Sunday for our live chat, and I hope to see you guys all there. Have a good week and happy reading.